You probably know Angkor Vat. You probably know Beng Te Shre. Have you heard of Sam Bor Pre Cook? It is the earliest live records of Khmer temples, predating the better known Angkor Wat by several centuries. This is what Sam Bor Pre Cook looks like now. It is an imperial temple, as well as the center of the religious life of the people. Have you ever thought of what this would look like 1400 years ago? when it was filled with priests and pilgrims. Have you ever thought of the life of people back then? Can you imagine what you would be like back then? Let's go back 1400 years and be one of them. In the seventh century, there's no upper wear for both men and women in Cambodia. People wrap their lower bodies with a piece of cloth wealthier people would have fine garments and jewelries on them. The market starts running as early as 6 o'clock in the morning. It has all kinds of products as well as entertainment. You can find all sorts of crops, vegetables, poultry, domestic animals, and prepared food here. You can also find nice garments and dyes in the market. If you are not in a hurry, spend some time for the acrobat show as the morning entertainment. Let's go get some flowers for worship. Before carrying out any services, we would clean our souls and bodies in the bathing pool. In fact, as Cambodia is unbearably hot, bathing several times a day is common for general people. Next to us is a fire sacrifice. Smoke rises from the fire from the clarified butter or ghee. Poured into it signifies the purification. The Brahmin priest and attendants stand around the fire with their hands folded, chanting as the smoke rises. After the fire sacrifice, people might make wishes at the lotus pond. You can lay flowers and pray here. You can also pray as you walk around the inner boundary wall as other pilgrims. Entering the inner gate is a place for the main shrine and ancillary shrines. These shrines are dedicated to the god Shiva. They are finely sculpted in bricks and are covered with plaster. Fine details could be seen at the flying palaces as well as the lentils. Let's join the Mandela initiation. This is a ceremony only for those who wish to enter the Shivite initiation, and therefore would only be performed by very few. The mandala was made by the priest with rice powder. The flowers, perfumes, and fruits are all gifts from Shiva. Over there at the entrance of the main shrine are few guards. They guard the royal shrine so that no ordinary people could get in. However, they cannot stop time travelers like us. Let's go in and see the holy services performed by chief priest. Inside the shrine is the linga. The worship of the linga is the most powerful ritual in Shaivism. In Sambor Pre Cook, this is performed by the chief priest only. The priest first rubs and washes the linga and touches it with yellow orpiment. Then he makes offerings of leaves, red and blue lotuses, burns incense, makes food offerings. Finally, he walks clockwise around the linga. Have you found any traces of Khmer pre Angkorian tradition? Well, this is just a short tour of Sambor Pre Cook. Play the game and see and learn more about the tangible and intangible cultural heritage of Sambor Pre Cook. Enjoy.